Hello, Mr. Good evening. Hello, Miss Sandra. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Me escucha. Sí, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Que vi que tenía bajo el volumen, so that's why. Hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome. One more time. Okay, so we are going to give everybody two more minutes. Okay, le vamos a dar dos minutos más al resto de la clase. So they come back para que puedan eh, ingresar. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. Hello, Miss Rebecca, welcome. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Miss? I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. That's, thank you for asking me. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. Hello, Miss Abigail. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you? I'm good, Miss. And you? How are you today? Uh, well, a little tired. A little tired. Almost, Miss. Almost. It's almost finished with the level. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't worry. Yes, it's only a partir de mañana. Voy a dormir temprano. A <laughs> That's good, Miss. <laughs> You're not going to do the next level. No van a ser el próximo level. Or yes, you are. <laughs> you but ese va a iniciar hasta quizás hasta la próxima semana. Tengo miércoles. You you ya no puedo dormir temprano. Uh -huh. I receive a call from the. The next modulo mm -hmm. for the next year. Yes, uh, that's why I was asking you. Hello, Miss Miche. Next this year is next year. Exactly. Hello, Hello good evening, Miss. Welcome. Yes, next. <laughs> next year, not this next week. It will be next year. I heard and I was so sad <laughs> because I thought you were going to be my student, but no. Mm -hmm. So maybe next year okay so let's just start with the class because, because it's already three minutes welcome everybody and let's go and finish with this module number four okay this is english for World program basic module number four my name one more time is lisa rosemary Alvarado martinez and today it is tuesday november 15th 2022 right and today we are going to finish with unit number four, that is the counting, right? And uh, today we are going to practice a little bit of uh, zero conditional. And also you're going to be able to give some instructions, okay? And then also you're going to use as well some of the classes, new classes, time classes, okay, vamos a aprender las time classes, they are very important when talking, son muy importantes cuando hablamos, and so, yes, so to start, I have this one that you're going to practice a little bit of the, as I told you before, the zero conditionals, vamos a practicar las zero conditionals, welcome Mr. Juan Jose, how are you Mr.? I'm fine, thank you, how are nice. you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Hello, Miss Andrea. Hello. Oh, Miss Abigail is joining. Okay, so as you can see, one second. Oh my goodness. 
way okay there uh, as you can see here right now uh, here we have some numbers and then if you choose a number you will have to say the correct answer or the missing words for the sentences okay so let's go ahead and start with mr mauricio tell me one number mr mauricio please please number two number two okay oh no mr another <laughs> one Number eight. Number eight, okay. So this one. What is the answer, mister? If, if you touch the fire, mm -hmm. you get burning. Yes, very good, mister. Thank you. Let's go, Miss. It would be now. Miss Abigail Bonilla, what number would you like to try? Six. Six. Six, okay. So here, Miss. We always feel good mm -hmm. when everything mm -hmm. is okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. Very good. Let's go next one. Mr. Jose Ezequiel, one number, please. Nine. Nine. Okay, Miss, sir, here. When, when there are when there are good programs on TV, I usually stay home. Very good, Mister. Thank you. Let's go ahead, please help me, Miss Sandra. One teacher. One. Okay. So here, Miss, tell me. If John feel tired, mm -hmm. he he always wash TV to relax. Okay. <clears throat> so it would be he feels and feels, he wash. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're talking about him, right? Very okay. good. Let's see next one. Help me, please. Me, Rebecca. One number, please. Number three. Three. Okay, another oh. number. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four. Okay, this one. If we take short showers, the electricity bill go down. It goes, Miss, porque, uh -huh, porque tenemos the electricity bill, el, el recibo de la... De la Luz, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. como es un object, uh, yeah, it will be ghost, okay? Thank you, Miss. Very good. Let's go with Mr. Juan Jose. Tell me one number. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, this one. When it rains a lot, rains a lot, the city usually get gets floated yeah gets floated exactly very good mister thank you let's go with miss michelle tell me miss michelle what number number 10 10 okay it goes uh-huh can you read the sentence please when mary has time she's she always goes shopping very good Volunteers now that want to practice today and right now, tell me one number. 16. Okay. This one, Miss? If you put food in a fridge, fridge, uh huh. It lasts longer. Yes, last. Okay, but very good, Miss. Thank you. Another volunteer. Volunteers, what are you? 14. Thank you, mister. 14, this one. She gets nervous when she... Mm -hmm. uh, heaven. No, what's the Didn't name? Have. It's simple present, not past. Uh, Negative for simple present. 
Dasen. Dasen. Dasen half, half time. time. To relax, exactly. Why? Because we have she, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it will be very mm -hmm. good. Thank you. Let's see, next one, next volunteer. Seven. Seven, thank you. Oh, no, miss, another number. Fifteen. Sixteen, it's fifteen, okay. Mm -hmm. If someone mm -hmm. enters the bullying building, the building, mm -hmm. the alarm mm -hmm. goes mm -hmm. off. Yeah, enters very good and goes right, very good. Let's go, next volunteer, please. Volunteer, hello. Hi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What number, mister? Five. Five, okay. This one, mister. When a bicycle uh -huh. speed. Uh huh. Up, it's mm -hmm. it's it it mm -hmm. da does does more. No, no. 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 It's. Sorry. It is. It is. Okay. It is exactly. It is more. It is more difficult to stop. Exactly. Thank you, Mister. Very, very, very good. Let's see next one. One more volunteer, please. 12. Okay. When I get home late, mm -hmm. I always have a cup of uh, tea. Have, exactly. And the last one, it's points. So that one, mm -hmm. it's not it, nothing, right? Very good. Thank you for doing it. That was amazing. And thank you for practicing. Remember that was the practice for yesterday's class. And now let's go ahead and continue. Oh, yeah, so I have this one is stop the bus. Okay, stop the bus. It's like similar to bachelorato stuff. Have you ever played bachelorato stuff? Where's my notebook? Have you ever played bachelorato stuff before? Or yeah. no? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, so what do you have? You, you know what you have to do, right? In this one, we are going to practice vocabulary in English, obviously, okay? So you have to do a grid, okay, or a cuadro. Oh my goodness. In, in your notebook like this, okay? Van a ser un, un cuadro en su cuaderno, okay? Like something similar to this. And, and what do you have to do? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Por ejemplo, vamos a elegir una letra. Después de que hagan ese cuadrito, vamos a elegir una letra. And then, todos vamos a empezar a escribir, ¿ok? Y cuando se repiten las palabras, lo que sucede es que solo tenemos five points, right? So, let's do this, uh, this grid, please. Vamos a hacer ese cuadro. Right now, I'm going to give you some time so you can uh, do it. Le voy a dar unos segunditos para que lo puedan hacer ustedes in your, in your notebook or a page. And as you can see, those are the categories. Y como pueden ver por ahí, tenemos las categories that you can do. Que ustedes pueden ahí, pues, tener. Okay, so, yes. Let me know when you're finished. I'm going to give you right now uh, one minute, okay? Finish? Not yet. Okay.
Now what? Okay, what about the other ones? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, what are, it's going to happen? Como pueden ver ahí en el ejemplo, I'm going to give you a letter, okay? Le voy a dar una letter. For example, I, I, for example, I have R, and then the name for me, I put rose, then for an object, I put a ring, and then for a city or country, I put Rome, that is a city, right? And then we have rose gold, that is a color, as you know, and then I, I put a vegetable, that it was a radish. I know that maybe you don't know so many things about them, but we are going to try it, okay? Pero lo vamos a intentar. So let's go ahead and start with the letter. I'm gonna go with the first letter. It would be letter M, okay? Letter, y cuando, cuando termine de escribir todas las palabras, si alguien termina, well, when you finish, you have to say stop the bus. Cuando termines, tienen que decir stop the bus, okay? Let's go. Which letter? M? M, M, oh. M, M. Ajá, me ascenden en echar. That's the first letter. Remember, if you finish, you have to say stop the boss. Stop the bus. Stop the what? bus. <laughs> no. <Work. laughs> One. I'm gonna give you five seconds. One, so you can think. One, two, Ready. three, oh, four, Ready. four, <laughs> five. <laughs> wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see. Letter, it's M. Name, what do you have for name, everybody? I have Mary, and you? Mary. 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 <laughs> Mary. <laughs> okay. Marisol. Uh, what do you have? Marisol. Marisol. Ah, good. So put, si tienen a diferente, a Mary, van a poner 10, ¿verdad? Y si tienen Mary, 5, obviously, that's 5 points. What about object? What do you have for object? I have magazine. Machine. No, machine. Oh. <laughs> Anybody? Money. My, what, money, yeah, good. Which, which one, teacher? Oh, my. Object. Object. Oh, very good. Map. And Miss Dania? Mouse. Ah, oh, very good. Good one. Milk. 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 Yeah, <laughs> very good. That's a good one. Another one? Okay, remember, if you don't repeat it, put um 10. Si no repiten, pues pongan 10. Si no, pues 5. City or country? Mexico. Mexico. Oh, no. Manhattan. Ah, yes. Massachusetts. Yes. Marrakos. Yes. Marrakos. Marrakos. Minnesota. Ah, oh, very good. Very good one. Nice. Thank you. Good. What about color? Color. Marrón. Marrón. Pelos. Me... <laughs> Teacher existe. No, but in Spanish, in English, it's cantaloupe. <laughs> so it's a different one. It starts with C. In, in, in English, the color de melon se dice cantaloupe. It starts with C. Pero está el color magenta, okay? That is like, yes, magenta or magenta. I don't know how to write it, but very good. Let's see, fruit or vegetable? What do you have? Mango. Melon. <laughs> Melon. I have mango too. Mushroom. Ah, oh, yes. And Miss Dania and Mr. Juan Jose? Zero, teacher. Zero. Uh, nothing? Oh, I am no, sorry. Nothing. Okay. Teacher. Uh -huh. teacher yeah. eh, ¿Cuándo es que dije que vamos a escribir 10 y cuándo 5? 10 cuando no se repite. No se repite. O sea, nadie más repite lo que usted dice. Y ese 5. Y cuando nadie dice lo que usted tiene, 10. Ah, ok. Ok. Por culpa de Juanjo me va a tocar cinco. <risa> Five, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-five. Ok. Después le voy a pedir fotos, ok. I want to see. Hmm. Uh -huh. If you are not copying. Huh? Ok, let's see next letter. Let's go ahead with the next letter. It would be letter R. Ok, R. 
Ah, no, no, no. Ya teníamos R, no, porque se va a repetir y le van a copiar de lo que ya les puse. Ok, no. It Yo le había be... escribido. Sí. No. <laughs> you have wrote it already. Letter okay. A. A, 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 A. Ok. A, 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 ah. letter A, ajá, uh -huh. A. Ah. Uh Everyone is thinking about things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stop the buzz because I don't think it's a color with A. <laughs> okay. I doubt the same. <laughs> you have you don't have color? No. Me neither. I think there's no color with A. Okay, let's go. Name. What do we have for a name? Adriana. Amanda. Amanda. I have Mary. Abby. Abigail. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have Abby. Okay. Alma. Uh, um, oh, very good. Okay. What about object? What do you have for object? Arrow. Airplane. Art. Airplane. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so art, mm -hmm. airplane, what else? Arrow. Uh, arrow. Airplane. airplane. Uh, okay, <laughs> so five points. Okay, country or city? Argentina. Oh, Argentina. Uh, Argentina. 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 Adelaida. Hay una isla que se llama. Really? I don't know, but I... <laughs> Cerca del Polo Sur. Where is located? Near... So, so the South Pole? Okay. Okay, let's go next one. And next one we have color, nothing. Who has a color? ¿Quién tiene color? Apple green. No, color apple. apple green, teacher. Apple green, no? Aqua. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh. Yo pensé eso, pero dije, no puedo ser tan tramposo. Dije. No, that's an interesting. No, apple green. No. Oh, <laughs> Color with A. Give me one second. Let me see. Uh, ah, aqua. Uh -huh. We have aqua. We have apricot, antique white, aquamarine. Ay, no. Okay, so no, no. Okay, let's go. Next one. Uh, I have zero. Fruit or vegetable? I have apple. Apple. Mm. Yeah. Avocado. Uh, Avocado. Avocado. Uh, uh, okay, so put five, everybody, okay? Okay. And the last letter, okay? The last letter, it will be letter Z. Letter Z, okay? I'm going to send it in the chat too. Letter Z, okay? Okay, so let's go. Remember not to say it with the letter because we can't hear you. Uh. <clears throat>
Okay, stop the bus. <laughs> One, two, three. Cassandra. Four, <laughs> four and five. Okay, let's see. Name, Carlos. Carol. Caroline. Charlie. Charles. Ah, Charles. Charles. <laughs> Charles. Ah, le cambiaron. Carlos Charles. It's Charles. Carolina. I'm sorry, lady. Carolina. Ah, no, Carmita. no. <laughs> no, porque Charlie, Charles y Carlos es diferente. Porque in Spanish, right? Changes a little bit. Cambia un poquito. So leave it with 10. Vamos a dejarlo con 10. 10. Object. What do you have for object? Camel. Camel, uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. I have a castle, yes? Coffee. Coffee, uh -huh. <laughs> Coffee, very good. Also, another one, Mr. Juan Jose, Mr. Mauricio? Candy. Ah, uh, candy. And you, mm. Mr. Mauricio? Uh, camera. Camera, no, it's yeah. shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> no, no se vale, es trampa ya. Trip. Okay, let's go. Okay, country. zero. Zero, yes. A country or city? I have Cuba. California. Costa Rica. Caracas. Rica. Canada. Costa Rica. Colombia. <laughs> Colombia. Oh, very good. A nice Canada. night. Oh, very good. Okay, let's see next one. A color. Nothing. Huh? No, no I think. <laughs> it's in Spanish. It's in Spanish. I have uh -huh. cream, cream, cream like crema. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that one is the can be. Okay, now here I have colorful, but here we have cabernet. Okay, I don't know what is that. Cadmium red. I don't know what is that. Calcium carbonate. <laughs> California, what? <laughs> Camelot, can canary yellow, what? Canary black. <laughs> Yo pensé en ese canary. Really? Color canario, pero como era el mismo you know. caso de la manzana de. <laughs> no. no, no, you cannot use it. Okay, so, okay, zero then. And then we have color, I mean, fruit or vegetable. Carrot. Car you? Carrot. Coconut. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, very good. I have a carrot. So. Me fui en la de Choto en esa última, teacher. <laughs> Hi, mister. Okay, so send me your pictures now. I want to see your grids. Quiero ver sus cuadros. Please send me your information in WhatsApp. In why you, you do that. Y mientras hacen eso, I'm going to do attendance section. Okay, voy a hacer la sec sección de asistencia. So please say presente. Abigail Mejía. Present. Thank you. Eh, Andrea Amalia. Dania Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Dice Yamilet. Esmeralda del Carmen. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Jose Ezequiel. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Por aquí, teacher. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Vigail. Present. Thank you. Uh, Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Thank you, very good. Okay, now let's go ahead and continue with the next activity. Okay, <laughs> Sherry Coconut. Ah, Sherry was another one, right? Let me check the, the sentences. Um, Give me one second. I just want to check on something. Oh, thank you. Wow, Miss Rebecca, I love it. 
Thank you, Miss Sandra. Very good. Nice. Ay, ¿por qué no puedo likes? Mr. Mauricio, thank you. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio. Miss mm -mm -mm -mm. Lady, thank you. Miss Abby, thank you. I know that you were not cheating with this. Ahora sí puedo ver que no, no cambiaron. <laughs> Mr. Jose Ezequiel, thank you, Miss Michelle, thank you too. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go with the next one. Okay, so today's class, as I said to you before, we are going to talk. Oh my goodness, wait. Es que se me movió una barrita por acá. Okay, there. So as I told you before, we are going to continue with, uh, it says, discuss, do you issue purchase orders? Um, and what is the first piece of information you need, okay? Do, do you remember that a while ago we were talking about this, that when you send things, cuando envían cosas, and uh, what is the first, info, when you send like packages, cuando envían paquetes, okay? The, like from your work or things, there, there are some important information that you have to put, right? Hay important, información importante que tienen que poner. What was, what is the first thing that you wrote or that you write? Hello? When, I'm sorry? Para quien va to who? Ah, to who? Mm. Okay, another idea? Mm, phone number. Address. The address. Uh -huh. Phone number, very good. What else do you write? Because there's like a lot of things wrote, right? Hay muchas cosas, pero the address, ¿a dónde va o de dónde viene, Miss? Hmm. Both. Both. Both, exactly. <laughs> Descending, right? Oh, and, uh -huh, resending and, and the exactly is when you are sending and you are re receiving the package, right? And the it would be the front and the two address very good and also you have remember that when you are sending something it's very important to know the purchase order or maybe not the purchase order but the number right that is identify this package okay so as you can see and uh, we have here um, a little like a uh, Receive, okay, from a purchase order information of a company. And I want you to help me to read. And uh, just give me one second because we are going to go to the manual so we can read it. Uh, just give me one second. Wait a second, please. Okay, here we have it. Okay, so here we have, uh, this is the, uh, like the little, um, etiqueta or the little order paper and and here we have can you help me to read please um, Mr. Jose Ezequiel can you help me here to read please all of it yes miss everything well, everything yes builder MT mm -hmm. management technology uh, day job number uh, order day, purchase order. Y esa letra también. Uh, yes, the date. Yes. Okay, date. date. Uh -huh. September 1st. September 1st, uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. No, 17. Uh, the otro, job number. Uh -huh. Job H number. Uh -huh. H0001. Order day. Uh -huh. Is el mismo. September 1st, mm -hmm. 27. And the purchase order? Purchase order A H zero 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 two <laughs> one. Uh huh. E zero fifteen. Y ahora? And then we have the vendor. Who is the vendor? Or el vendedor? Vendor. Uh, uh -huh. Bridge town building materials. Uh, 
3521 North Highway 24, uh, Denver, CO 802224. What else? And then, and then we have the job address. But can you help me please to read Miss Michelle? Yes. Job address uh, 1010 Deer Trail, Lakewood, uh, CO. Mm -hmm. A zero Lakewood. Two, Lakewood. Uh -huh. Thanks. CO 80229. Thank you. And the next one, please apply the following. I mean, yes, please. Yes, okay. please. Please supply the following. Mm -hmm. It and it and the description. A QT8 height. You need price in, in total. Total. <laughs> Quantity, total. unit, price, and total, right? Thank yes. you, Miss. Continue, please, Miss Rebecca. Ay, ¿cuántos ochos tiene? <laughs> it's four, Miss. Four, four eights. Eight, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Play material, first floor. Quantity, one. Unit, one S. Price, 255. 20, 20 cents. cents. Uh-huh, and then? Total, uh -huh. same. <laughs> 255 mm -hmm. 20 cents. Exactly. Next. And then 1-1-8-8-8-8-0-0-1-0-1 frame material. First floor quantity 1 unit 1S price. Mm. Okay. And uh, Thousand, six thousand, yes. uh huh, six thousand, one hundred sixty, and total, total, mm -hmm. six thousand, one, one hundred sixty, one hundred sixty. Thank you. Next one, can you help me to read, please, Mr. Juan Jose? The work has been completed mm -hmm. to the terms and conditions stated mm -hmm. in our contract. Next order, 6,415, tax 0 0.00, total order, 6,420 6, cents. Company, Bridgestone Building Materials, mm -hmm. date, builder, date. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, everybody, for helping me to read. OK, now, as you can see here, we have some questions, right? And it says, read again the purchase order. But we have already read it very good, OK? So we have to get this information and identify the following information. How many items are they, are they buying? I think it's they over there. How, how many items? Do you remember how many are then? Two two items exactly because it says quantity and it says one and two right so two items and number two how much is the total price for the two items who remembers hmm. six thousand forty four hundred fifty six thousand four hundred fifty fifty what fifty uh-huh. 15. 15. Ah, 15. And P zero zero. Okay, let's go. Ah, no, but oh. no, no, it's supposed. <laughs> it's supposed it's 20. Six, six ah. thousand. Yeah. So it's six thousand four hundred fifteen with 20 cents. But very good means you have a very good retentive. You remember. Nice. Okay, so those were the answers for this one. Okay, and now, uh, do we have any questions so far about this? 
or are we good with this one? This is something similar that we can find in a package, right? When we are sending things from one place to another, as you can see here, we have a vendor. Vendor is vendedor. It's another way to call them. Okay, esa es otra forma de llamarlos. Okay, vendors, and we have the job address because maybe they are they are sending there, right? The package. Questions or no questions? We're good. I think we're good then. Okay, now, um, so today we are going to continue with this new topic. Just give me one second, okay. So we are going to continue with this new topic that it is the um, time classes, okay? That is used, okay? When we are explaining the different process for things, okay? So, es, vamos a, a empezar con las clases, eh, the time classes, okay? I think you have already studied some of them. Yo creo que ya han estudiado algunos de ellas. And then, time classes, do you know? Or any idea what it is a time class? Any ideas? Any thoughts, comments about it? Mm -hmm. Time classes. What comes to your mind if you listen time classes? Maybe like mm -hmm. until, before. Oh, yeah, very good. Yeah, definitely. Time classes, we have many, okay? Tenemos muchas eh, time classes, okay? Uh, but today we are going to focus on uh, these ones, okay, the most common ones, they, in fact, you have in your manual, you have before, after, until, and as soon as, okay. So we are going to focus on those uh, so far, okay. And then let's go back to my presentation. So what happens with the classes, okay. Classes, when you, when you listen to this word, okay, always, classes, remember, these are sentences, okay? Always remember that, sentences. And uh, what happens? When you have um, a time class, okay? It's a word that will join or will connect to sentences, okay? And there are two ways to connect sentences at the beginning and in the middle. And here we have the first time classes that you would use to connect to sentences, okay, are when, as soon as, and after. And then here we have some examples, okay, of these sentences. Help me please to read, um, wait, Mr. Francisco, uh, the three sentences, please. Uh, when let's cross the bridge, when we come to it, mm -hmm. as the baby can cry, can cry as soon as he is born. Exactly. After, I, after, after I had finished my homework, I went to bed. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. And so in, in, in these sentences, as you can see, well, the first one, it's a simple present sentence, but we can use any tense, okay? We can use any tense with these um, time clauses, okay? Podemos utilizar cualquier tiempo, okay? En, este, en la primera oración, pues, se utiliza en el when, así como en el sirvo condition, pero si se dan cuenta, miren. Uh, let's cross the bridge when we come to it, okay? Simple present, simple present. But then here, the query can cry, and then we have as soon as, he is born as soon as, it means tan pronto como, okay? And then to connect to sentences, right? And then we have after at the beginning. Miren, y tenemos el after que significa después, right? And then here we have a past sentence. After I have finished my homework, coma, esta coma, miren, es esencial, el momento de dividir nuestras oraciones. I went to bed, okay? Después que yo termine mi tarea, coma, me iré a dormir, o me fui a dormir, okay? Me fui a dormir, it will be because it's in past. Okay, let's go ahead. Remember, time classes are words to connect to sentences, okay? Here we have some more, okay? Aquí tenemos un poco más. And we have another time classes like before, until, and after. Before, okay, 
this one before, I'm sorry, before <laughs> we are going to use it to say earlier uh, activity, ¿ok? El before lo vamos a utilizar para decir una actividad antes de, ¿ok? And then until, it's a finish, finished time, ¿ok? El until vamos a utilizarlo para decirlo um, para decir una actividad hasta cierto punto que termina, okay? Then we have after, it would be later time, okay? Or later activity, una actividad después de, okay? So here we have some example, okay? And we are going to read them one more time. Can you help me to read the sentences, please, Mr. Mauricio? Mr. Mauricio, are you there? Time, work, before. No, no, no. Before, the sentence is okay, only. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Before we have a baby, mm -hmm. we will buy a house. Thank you. Next one. Until he wins the, the lottery. Uh -huh. He won't quit his job. Excellent. After we retire, mm -hmm. we are going to travel. Exactly. And look, we have first the time word, then we have, this is a sentence basically, aquí miren, si se fijan en la primera eh, oración, nada más que donde va la palabrita de la time, como el when, before, as soon as, until, after, se va a llamar time clause y la siguiente que no lleve time clause se llamará main clause, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. O oración. Esto de main, lo que dice clause, eh, recuerden que es oración. Oración. Mm -hmm. Otra palabra para decir oración. And let's go. It's the same sentence. I'm sorry. It's the same sentence. Sí, es la es la, eh, clause. If you say clause, es como decir sentence. Ok. Pero en este caso se llama time clause. ¿Por qué? Porque llevará estas palabritas que les estoy mostrando. Oh, en, ajá. Okay. Entonces sería como time sentences, ¿ok? Ok. Y la que no lleve esta time como before, on, or after, se llama, llamará yeah, main, main, clause. Ajá, main clause or main or sentence. Main sentence. Uh -huh. Let's go out and see some more examples. Aquí tengo otros ejemplos. And he says the time clauses and conditional sentences have something in common. Las condicionales con las time clauses tienen algo en común. ¿Qué es? Que utilizan estas palabritas, miren. Así como ayer, ¿se acuerdan que estábamos utilizando el, el if y el when? Pues así son estas, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque utilizamos as soon as, once, by the time, when, at the moment, before or after. And then here it says that are always followed by present. But sometimes they have like, Reference, ok, time reference, ok. La mayoría del tiempo son eh, utilizadas con okay. el presente, pero a veces como tienen referencia de tiempo, ahí es donde lo utilizamos, porque creo que ustedes las aprendieron con el, oh my goodness, I don't remember which ones were, creo que fue en el módulo número 2 con time expressions, y era similar, nomás que estas son time clauses, que utilizaron el in, on, verdad, y el at, bueno, estas son similares. But in this ones are for clauses, two sentences. And aquí utilizan dos oraciones y en cambio ya antes, pues solo utilizaban tiempos y ciertas actividades. So it was almost the same. Here we have some more. And here's and uh, some more examples. Help me to read, please, Miss Abigail. Number one, when? When? Mm -hmm. I will call you when I get home. Thank you. Next one, help me to read, please, Miss Lady. Call me before you leave. Thank you. Yes. Danny, mm -hmm. after. After, I will meet you after lunch. And then we have as soon as, Mr. Francisco. Chief. Be here as soon as she can. 
Yes, and next one, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. While uh, I'll get coffee while you two talk. Very good, thank you. Okay, as you can see in this one, we have them in the middle. Esta como pueden ver, este, pues tienen el, la time clause en el medio, ¿verdad? De las dos oraciones. And sometimes here we have the future will, right? And sometimes we have the present. I think, okay, now we are going to create our own sentence. Ahora sí, vamos a crear nuestras propias oraciones so we can understand a little bit better. So basically we are going to focus in three time clauses, okay? Which ones are the three time clauses? It would be, oh my goodness, with this, Ay. clauses, it would be, the three, three main focus, it will be after, before, until, as soon as. and no, as soon as, estaba as soon as en el manual, I don't remember. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's as soon as, yeah. That is the other one. As soon as. Okay, so we are going to focus in these four, okay, because there are many more. Hay muchísimas más. Como les dije, hay, eh, es interminable la lista de time, de, de words that you can connect sentences, okay, but these are the, the ones that we are going to study today. Estas son las que vamos a practicar el día de ahora, okay. So remember, in these ones, what happens is that you use them to connect two sentences, right? Recordemos que las vamos a utilizar para unir dos oraciones. Simple present in this case, okay? Again, so let's go with, for example, after, remember it's to talk about later activities, es para hablar sobre actividades más tardes o que se realizan más, una actividad que se realiza después de otra, como por ejemplo, Let's think first. Vamos a pensar primero. ¿Qué hacen después de ustedes que toman una ducha? ¿Qué es lo que hacen ustedes? What do you do? Change the dress. Ah, get dressed, right? Very good, mister. After I take a shower. I'm sorry. Coma. I get dressed. Awesome, mister. Thank you. Miren, porque estoy hablando de una actividad después de... So first I have after, then sentence, coma, and then I have another sentence, okay? Let's go ahead with the next one. Uh, it would be, uh, okay, this sentence, it could be in another way, right? right? Esta misma oración puede ser en otro sentido, en otro orden, quiero decir, por ejemplo. Uh, it would be, I get dressed, yo me visto, after I take a shower. Yo me visto después de que tomo una ducha. Look. Porque ese sería el orden de los eventos. ¿verdad? No primero van a vestirse y después tomar una ducha, right? So that would be the order. So first, here we have simple present. We have the time clause and another sentence. Notice that in this one, I didn't use an, a coma. Entonces, si se fijan, pues ya en la segunda, pues, Como tengo en medio mi palabrita de time clause, yo no utilicé una com. ¿Ok? ¿Questions so far? ¿Preguntas al momento? No. Re remember that we use simple present right now. ¿Ok? Let's go with another example with before. Before is for an earlier time. Before vamos a utilizar para un tiempo antes. ¿Ok? Antes. Una actividad antes. Vamos a pensar antes de la clase. ¿Qué hacen antes de la clase ustedes? Uh -huh. Turn on the computer. Oh, very good. I turn on the computer, Mr. Thank you, or the laptop, right? So look, before I have class, antes de la clase, look, before, coma, I turn on the computer. In the other way, it would be, la otra forma sería al revés, vamos a ver, porque cualquiera de las dos pueden utilizar. So what's, it would be the next one. It will be, I turn on the computer before, before I have class, okay? Yo enciendo la computadora antes de, antes que yo tenga la clase, obviamente, I have class. 
And then we have uh, until. Questions so far with this one? In esta igual, verdad? Tenemos, mire, simple present sentence, me time clause, y tengo mi otra oración, verdad? We have until. Y until is a finish time, ok? El until es para un tiempo definitivo que se termina algo. Por ejemplo, el día, vamos a, vamos a enfocarnos en el día, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hacemos cuando, cuando van a, a dormir? What do you do? Until I go to sleep. Uh -huh. What do you do? Brush, brush. I brush your teeth. Mm, okay, I brush my teeth. Very good. Maybe you study, you check the social media, you watch TV, okay? Many activities, right? Okay, dice, hasta que yo voy a dormir, coma, yo me cepillo los dientes. So first we have until, then we have here a sentence, simple present, coma, look, and then we have a, a, another simple present sentence. The other way would be, la otra forma sería, sería al revés. That sentence. Mm -hmm. I brush my teeth. Uh -huh. Until. I brush my teeth. Oh, she goes to sleep. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. And then we have the last one. The last one will be with as soon as. As soon as, as, soon as es tan pronto como, ¿ok? As soon as. Y eso, no sé si ustedes lo han visto, pero también le dicen ACP. As soon as, wait, what is P? What's the A? Es SAP. As soon as possible. Ah, but that's why. As soon as, eso también se, se puede contratar así. As soon as, when you want something quick. Eh, que, cuando quieren algo que sea rápido, okay? So, yes. Okay, let's go with the sentence. For example, you can say, hmm. When, teacher, yeah. this word, when have a P. Possible. Al final. Possible. Es que ese está ah, as soon as possible, tan pronto como puedas. Ajá. O tan pronto es que sea posible. En un, en un correo de un cliente y vacío de que, de que es eso. <risas> yes, it's as soon as possible. ASAP. I, I, yes. love it. I love that ac acronym. I love it. I don't know why. And so, um, wait. I, as soon as. Uh -huh, as soon as my class. Ah, I finished my class. Oh, wait. I finished my class. What do you do? I go to sleep. Vacation. <laughs> oh, vacation. <laughs> I go on vacation. Nice. Yes. I go on vacation. Look, tan pronto yo termino la clase. Okay. I finish the class, coma. I go on vacation. Or well, class or course, course. Oh, yeah, as well, too. Module. Okay, uh, or module, in the, module, uh -huh. module. another okay. way, la otro, al otro orden podría ser. I go on vacation. On vacation. Mm -hmm. As soon as, as, as mm -hmm. finish module. Right. Uh -huh. Or my class, very good. Or my class. Mm -hmm. Questions, everybody? Doubts, comments? Teacher. Yeah. And the second way, you don't write the, the comma. No, because we have in the middle, we have these, mister. We have the clause, porque tenemos mm -hmm. la clause. Entonces, okay. por ende, no vas a escribir una coma. So, solo cuando la tienes al inicio, okay? Okay. Yeah, in, this, in the first sentence, coma. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, let's go and practice. And with the next one, wait, oh no, with the manual, we're going with the manual, I remember. In the manual, we have some more, as you can see here. 
time class. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Oh no. Okay, so there we have some more examples. Can you help me to read the examples, please? Uh, Miss, Miss Rebecca, time classes. Before you start writing mm -hmm. the pushar order, you have to check every product. Yeah, definitely. After the, mm -hmm. after the pay, mm -hmm. we can start placing the package on the truck. We are authorized to change item until we check the pushar order. As soon as we register, the order in our system, you can take it home. Yes, thank you. Okay, it's saying, right, that I was telling you first, we have the class, I mean the time word, and then you have the sentence, then you have the coma, and then you have the other sentence, right? Lo mismo que les estaba explicando. So, lo único que ahí les ponen en negrita, la, la frase de el after con el, la primera oración, ¿por qué? ¿Por, ¿Se acuerdan por qué? Do you remember? Porque es la clause. Exactly, the time clause. Porque es una time clause. Entonces, por eso lo ponen en negrita. Porque lleva la, la palabrita de time con el, la oración, vea, del, del simple present. Then we have a comma and then we have the other sentence. Here we have it in the other way. Aquí la tenemos en, el otro, en la otra forma que les mostraba. Primero una oración. Después tenemos la time clause, no coma. And then we have here again, as soon as we register, coma, another sentence, right? Here we are going to practice in exercise number five, okay? So what do you have to do? You have to circle the correct word according to the other words that you have over there. So let's take a look and please do them. I'm gonna give you two minutes so you can circle the correct answer, okay? Right, because I want to look. Are you ready or not yet? Do we have to send in that? No, we have only to check. Okay. Okay. So what are, what do you have in number one? What's the answer? Before. Before. Okay, let's see. Just give me one second because I just want to check on my. Yes, very good. It's before. Before I get to my job, I have to take a shower. Hey, obviously, right now you're <laughs> going to go to the job and then take a shower. Number two. Hunter. Hunter. Mm -hmm. What about the other ones? What do you think? Podríamos utilizar ones. Yes, exactly. I didn't explain you this one, but yes, you can use once, okay? And it says once because it says once you pay the material, you can start using it. Una vez tú pagues el material, lo puedes empezar a utilizar. So it will be once, you guys. So, yeah. Datos se pueden usar, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. You can use both of them. Sí se pueden utilizar both, okay? Because you say hasta que... Tú pagas los materiales, puedes empezar a utilizarlos. Number oh, cool. three. Mm -hmm. Number okay. three, give the change. After. Yeah. Change. Yes, very good. Before. I mean, I'm sorry. It's after. Sorry, sorry. It's after. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mister. 
And number four, all the workers can go until. Until, very good. They finish their work. Check, check, please, your answers that you have over there. Okay, let's go ahead and continue with the other activity. In the other activity, what do we have to do? I don't know if you have any questions or doubts. No doubts? Wait. Okay, now what I want you to do, I'm sorry, wait. I want you to write two sentences, but no, you're not going to write two sentences. You are going to write one for each of them, okay? You're going to write one with until, one with, wait, one with before, one with after, until, before, after, and as soon as, okay? You're going to write one sentence for each of these, okay? about your life, about the things that you do every day, because remember that you're talking about simple present, so you're going to do one for each one of them. For this, I'm gonna give you five minutes, okay? So let's try to do them, please. When you finish these ones, you are going to send them on WhatsApp. Es así, las van a enviar cuando este, pues las terminen en WhatsApp, so I can check them out. So, yes. One more minute, so you can send me the, the picture of your sentences, please.
Thank you, Ms. Abigail. I make, I do, Miss. I do exercise. Coma. I take a shower. Coma must be there, okay? La coma no se nos puede olvidar. No problem. Teacher, yes, only me? three sentences. Only four sentences, one with until, oh. one before, after, and soon as. Okay, no thanks. Mm -hmm. Very good, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Thank you. I just check uh, after I finish. Mm, that's contracted, Mr. <laughs> Is it contracted? Which one, teacher? Finish. Which one? Finish. We're going to. I am going to. Going to get married. After I finish my career. Donde teacher está contra contrastado. Eh, <laughs> en la número number three. Y dónde ve la contrastación ahí? Es que veo un apóstrofe por ahí. No teacher. Yes, Mr. Wait a second, I'm gonna send it to you. Por lo que me comí ahí una una. Ah. H. <laughs> okay, yo pensé que eso era una contraction there. No, una H que me comí ahí. Okay, mister. Ay, mire, my career, me equivoqué yo. Career. Wait, let me check career. Porque le pongo lo mismo yo, career. Y career, ese career es solo para las... Um, Carreras de carrera, las líneas de teléfono. Gracias, teacher, por corregirme. No problem, mister. Happy to help. Careers. Es así. Las carreras de estudios en así. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Thank you. Miss Kenya, thank you, very good. After I work, I go to the gym. Very good. Let's see Mr. Mauricio. Very good, Mr. Mauricio. Just Mr. Mauricio um, subjects because I can see I is missing in some of them. I, the oh, subject oh. I, please. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Very good, Miss Lady. Thank you. I will, I go, I go to swim. 
Very good, Miss Michelle, thank you. It's careers, carrera. I'm waiting for some of you that you are missing. Uh, I'm missing Miss Sandra. Yes, very good, Miss. Let's see who is missing. Mr. Juan Jose, Mr. Francisco, I'm waiting for you guys. Tania. Lo siento, teacher, yo me tuve que levantar y no escuché las oh. indicaciones. So it was one sentence per each of the time classes, Mr. Era una oración por cada una de las que se pueden ver ahorita ahí en la, en la whiteboard. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay, so while the other ones finish, mientras los demás terminan, we are going to continue, okay? And so that was a little bit for the, um, the time classes, okay? And then in there, in the manual, it says that you have to complete these, but we're not going to do that one, okay? Dice que tienen que completar esto, como saben, eh, it's like a receive, right? Of a purchase order, es como el recibo de una compra, ¿verdad? So we're not going to do this one because I want to practice all of it that we have practiced in this module, okay? So number one here, so we have vocabulary practice and it says, according to your company, decide where the following financial statements go and explain why. So for example, for monthly report, what do you do in the monthly report? Which one do you use? The balance sheet, the equity statement, annual budget, income statement, or cash flow statement? Uh huh. What do you do monthly and report? ¿Cuál de estos se hace mensualmente? Which one? I'm sorry? Balance sheet. Okay, why do you do a balance sheet monthly? ¿Por qué se hace mensual? Uh -huh. Why? Because you need to have, you need to know, right? The incomes and outcomes. What else do you do every month? ¿Qué otra actividad se hace cada, eh, like, month? Uh -huh. Cash flow. Cash flow, okay. Why? Cash flow is statement. Because it's necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, 
To know what? Uh, could I, I know uh, uh, how much? Uh -huh. The assets, liabilities, right? Uh -huh. And the equity. Very good. Okay. What else do you do in the monthly report? ¿Qué más? What do we do every, every month? Cada mes. Income statement. Exactly. Income statements. It's a monthly, right? It's the income statements because we want to know how much money we received, right? What about once a year it would be? Annual budget. Uh -huh. Annual budget. Exactly. Budget. Because it's like el presupuesto anual, right? Annual budget. What else? And one more. It would be the equity statement. Equity statement, exactly. Very good. Equity. Because why? We have to know the uh, assets and liabilities and also the stakeholders for every year, right? or for every month as well, or for every uh, time that you are doing this, okay? The, the, the cash flow statement, it's similar to equity statements, okay? Uh, can I move on? Can I continue with the next activity? Okay, I'm gonna continue. Okay, in the next one uh, here, we have that we, wait, it's there. Okay, he says a range from one to six. The number one is the first one, right? And then the order of the cash flow cycle in a company. What's the number one? Mm -hmm. What What's the, remember the cash flow, how does it start? Como empieza el cash flow? in a company. Mm -hmm. Founding your purchases, right? Do you remember founding? Que es pagando, right? Because you have like the money. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it's founding your purchase. Then what do you do? Number two. It would be? A stock, right? They, you want to know if there's a product, right? Stock of goods and service. and service. Number three. What will be the next next step? <clears throat> mm -hmm. We have managing your cash. Managing no. Funding your sales or receiving. Mm -hmm. Funding, funding yourselves. Okay. Then number four, it would be. I creo que no se mira uno por acá. Sí, está uno. So it would be number number four. It would be. Give me one second. I just want to check. So number four, it would be receiving, okay? Receiving your payments. Number five, managing your cash uh -huh, and making payments, okay? Though that will be the uh, cash flow in a company, okay? Write it down. Remember that this is very important. So you have this information for future. Maybe we we become right. We have our, our company, right? Tal vez en futuro, maybe we don't know, right? You can have a company. You don't know, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. May I continue? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. Number uh, number four, I guess I don't remember. 
Okay, no, number three, sorry. This one, it says work with a classmate and ask the following questions, write complete answers. So what are you going to do? I'm gonna put you in pairs, okay? And you're going to write the answers like this, okay? I'm gonna practice with right now, help me please, Miss Rebecca. When you work, do you like working in a big group or a small group? Well, no, no, I prefer right? a small group. Okay, why? Okay, so as you said, I prefer small groups. Okay, very good, Miss. Thank you. Y digamos que me diga en la siguiente, Miss, ask me, please. When you work, I mean, you are you eager about sharing your ideas? Miss Rebecca? What is eager? Eager es como que estás... Um, Como complaciente o oh, wait, wait, let me translate because I don't remember in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Alegre is like something like alegre. I am always eager, for example. I am very eager, by the way, in my in every job. Ansiosa, like impaciente. You want entusiasmado, entusiasmado. I am always eager to share my things. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what uh, when do you work? Are you eager about sharing your ideas? Yes. Yes. Why? Um because mm -hmm. I like to do my punto de vista. <laughs> I like to give to give uh -huh. my Point of view. Okay, point of view. But something is happening here, Miss. I like giving, will be here, giving my oh, point of yeah. view. And this one, and then before, in the. Uh -huh, so it would be, I like uh, working in a small oh. group. Because remember that we are using germs, Miss. Porque recuerden que vamos a tratar de utilizar los germs, okay? So let's okay. try to do it. So right now I'm going to send you these questions. Le puedo mandar las preguntas por si no tienen el manual, okay? So give me one second, okay? Give me one second. So yeah, they were. I'm going to put you in groups, in pairs, okay? I will only put you in pairs so you can work out there ah but we have some some oyentes i remember okay so give me one second i'm gonna put mixed oyentes and miss kenya you're oyente or no also oh, so yes she's oyente okay Yes, okay. Okay, so okay, so let's practice, okay? I'm gonna give you for this activity five uh, minutes, okay? And so you write the answer, yes or no, and then write an explanation, okay? Just maybe if you remember, that's perfect, don't write it, but if you don't remember, please write it down because I will ask you later, okay? So let's practice five minutes, remember. Mr. Francisco and Miss Abigail Mejia, can you join, please? And also Miss Andrea. Please. Mr. Francisco, are you there? Miss Andrea, too, please. Hey, hey. Uh, 
And mi respuesta es, do you like working in the big group? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Why? Uh, because uh, the pay is the pay is good. Oh, uh, no tengo el, no tenemos el permiso también como para poder compartir la pantalla. Si no, pues le pedimos a la teacher que nos haga el favor de pegar las preguntas ahí. Por favor, con respuestas para hacer más, <laughs> más ameno. El... <laughs> That's another level of asking for permission. No, I already gave you the permission so you can share the screen. I'm sorry, I didn't give you before, but right now you can share. Oh, yes, Alfie. Yes. <laughs> what happened? She she didn't answer me. Um, estamos que ni yo y esta de oyente tiene problemas con el audio. Yes, okay, Miss, la voy a mover. Okay, give me one second. Me moví a mí. Okay, va usted, mi permítame. Here you have Miss Dania. Aquí tiene Miss Dania, Miss. Ella sí está acá. Bye. Ve mi pantalla. Para ayuda. Con las herramientas de Zoom, si puedes. Sí, porque quiero. Vaya, pero aprovechando también que aquí está la teacher de nuevo, la vamos a preguntar. Yes, eh, Amy. Uh -huh. eh, vamos a hacer una sola... Respuesta como equipo o cada no. uno. Everybody has an individual. Because it's only Mr. Jose, Ezequiel, and you, Mr. Es que Miss Andrea is oyente right now. Okay. So okay. it will be only you. So for example, you are going to write Mr. Jose, Ezequiel's answers and Mr. is going to write your answers. Okay, it's just okay. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. But the number one is okay because it's like working. No, can sharing. Hmm. Ah, okay. Sorry. Uh huh. So it would be uh, because I like working with small groups because I can share. Okay. I can share okay, many. Okay. Okay. No, había entendido esa parte. Okay, so it's like that. Okay. Thank you. Sharing many. Teacher, ya fue. No, ahí está todavía. Tell me, mister, I'm sorry, ajá. Uh -huh. Qué feo que lo dejes solo. Este, fíjese que a mí aquí no me... ¿Ah? Eh, aquí no, no, no me da la opción de para poder manipular aquí el chunche este. No sé cómo voy a escribir. What chunche, mister? What la, thing? La, What thing? De, la, de manual. Ajá, es pero que, aquí en la... La computadora, sí. Fíjese, me dice que tiene que tener descarga. A mí me pasaba lo mismo. Lo que hice fue que tuve que descargar un Adobe Editor o lo sube a, a Drive y de Drive puedes editar. No, no, es que lo que pasa es que él no tiene el manual. Entonces él quiere editar sobre esta imagen que yo estoy compartiendo. Oh, le tiene usted, Mr. Juan José, le tiene que compartir ahí, dice eh, Annotate. Porque, por ejemplo, mire, pues yo aquí puedo anotar a donde dice, ah, no, en la parte de arriba, mister. ¿Ya vio? Donde aparece el lapicito, arriba. Y qué gran pantalla tendrá que le hace hasta así. Ah, arriba dice annotate o dice anotaciones en Spanish. Después que tengo dos pantallas. Entonces tengo la laptop y tengo un monitor. Un monitor externo okay. en la parte okay. de arriba. Ah, ok. Entonces ahí me dice. Ajá. Uh -huh. No llego a los niveles yo todavía. Ni yo, Mr. No te worry. <risa> ah, ok. Anotate. Ajá, le tienes que dar el permiso al Mr. ahí. Sure. Ajá. Uh -huh. Or Amazing. control something, request remote control. Para que el Mr. ahí le les, les salga. Miren, intente Mr. ahora. Porque aquí, por ejemplo, aquí me sale... Me salió un cuadrito, ¿verdad? Que yo le estaba pidiendo. Sí. Ajá. Ahorita, Mr. Intente, Mr. José, ese aquí le escribí porque yo tengo aquí el control. 
No, todavía no me da nada. Pero si, si ya podría, si ya puede la teacher, tendrías que poder tú. Sí, sí, mister. Carga de los cuadritos, carga las utilerías. Ajá, arriba, mister. Arriba. Sí. Está una sí, cosa que dice que... view options o ve anotaciones, opciones, quiero decir. En la parte de arriba, ya vio. Sí, pero no me... Déjeme. Le voy a mandar una foto ahí en el grupo para que vea las opciones. Que le deben de aparecer. Ahí está, ahí está el lapicito. Ese creo que es usted. No, no. Este soy yo. Ah, I'm sorry. Ve cómo me engaña. No, I'm just... Wait, this one. These are the annotations. Envíela, pues, teacher. Ok. Ahí está en en the chat, en the en WhatsApp chat. Y ahora, Mister, ya. Cuando le dé ahí, ahí donde dice annotate, le van a salir todas las opciones, like text, eh, draw, eh, stamp. View option. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo lo dice Ventanilla, ayuda Ajá Dios mío Ahora sí Ok, great mister Great, great Ok, so let's work I'm gonna go in... No, Uy. anotaciones <ríe> Anotaciones Ahora sí. Ay, sí me... <laughs> Finish or not yet? Not yet. Okay, okay, no problem. I'm going to give you two more minutes, okay? Okay, thanks. Está bien. Bueno, finish. Finish. What? Oh my goodness, that's great. Okay, so let's go back then, okay? okay. Let's go back to the main. ¿Le compartimos? La... No le escuchamos. Ah, okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so let's wait a few seconds for the other ones, okay? Because some of you, them, they haven't finished. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so before we continue, antes de continuar, I'm going to do a tenant section, okay? Vamos a hacer sesión eh, de asistencia. Please say presente. Eh, Abigail Mejía. Andrea Amalia. Daniel Lisbeth. Presente, chef. Dice Yamilet. Esmeralda del Carmen, Francisco Ernesto, Jorge Antonio, José Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Juan José. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenny Elizabeth. Lady Xiomara. Oh, thank you, Miss Kenia. Lady, I saw Lady. I think she, wait a second. Oh no, I think she had problems then. Okay, so Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Vigail. Sandra Patricia. And Stephanie Michelle. 
present, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Oh my goodness, everybody left. What happened? Todos se fueron. ¿Qué pasó? Oh my goodness. Okay, so as I told you before, we were practicing a little bit of the germs, okay? And you were doing some questions. Estaban haciendo algunas preguntas por ahí. And I want to listen to the answers that you have from the... Eh, no, Miss Abigail. Ya lo vamos a poner. Wait a second. Just lo vamos a poner. Okay, so uh, as I tell you here, we have the questions. Okay, so when do you work? I mean, when you work, sorry, do you like working in big groups? ¿Qué le dijo Michelle, Mr. Mauricio? Number one. Miss Michelle? Michelle. Miss Michelle, no se me vaya. <laughs> Number one, when you work. I'm uh, sorry. No, you miss, you're going to tell me the answer for Mr. Mauricio. Tell me. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. it, because the pay is good. <laughs> <laughs> because the payment is good. Okay. Something that I was telling uh, Mr. Juan Jose, for example. Ya, yeah. eh, algo que les estaba comentando es que acá básicamente lo que querían es, era que utilizaran el germ. En el germ, yeah. como se pueden fijar ahí, es like working. I like working, mm -hmm. working in eh, big groups, ok, big groups, because, ok, the payment is good, ok. So eso básicamente era repetir lo que aparecía acá en la, mm. en la pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's go, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. What did Mr. Juan Jose said in number two, please, Mr. Helmy? No, what happened? Mr. Jose Ezequiel? Number two. Teacher, dígame. Number two, Mr. ¿Qué le dijo Mr. Juan Jose? Teacher, a nosotros él no fue el rato ahí, teacher. Are you for A escribir iba yo cuando de repente. <laughs> Usted que nos pone ahí el, el timbre. I'm sorry. Fracasamos okay. ahí, teacher. I am sorry, pero ahora sí, mister, ya sabemos dónde identificar. Ya sé cómo se usa el codo ese. Gracias, teacher. No problem, mister. Okay. So, mister, you tell me then. Usted me va a decir su respuesta. Entonces, when you work, are you eager about sharing your ideas? Yes or no? Espéreme que no le oigo, teacher. Really? Le voy a dar volumen a este volado que se lo apie. Dios, se lo bajé. When you work, are you eager about sharing your ideas? It's question number two, mister. ¿Qué es eager? ¿Está entusiasmado por compartir las ideas? ¿Usted? ¿Are you? Yes. Yes. Why? Because I like to share with other people. Okay, so it would be, I am eager about I sharing uh -huh. because I like sharing, aunque se repita, sharing with other people. Excellent, mister. Thank you. Let's go yeah. with next one. It would be uh, Miss Dania. Miss Dania, usted, you were working with, usted trabajó con mi Rebeca, verdad? Sí, teacher. Okay, tell me the uh, question number one. When you work, do you like working with multitasking people? Yes or no? Multitasking es que las personas de que hacen de todo al mismo tiempo. Están hablando, están escribiendo en la computadora, están anotando algo, están comiendo, everything at the same time. <laughs> yeah, multitasking. Eso es multitasking. Okay, so Miss, when you work, do you like working with multitasking people? ¿Qué le dijo Miss Rebeca? Llegamos hasta esa. Oh, oh my goodness. No. <laughs> don't finish. Sorry. Oh, okay. I don't. And what about you, Miss? What do you think? No. No. Why? <laughs> I don't like working with multitasking people mm -hmm. because I'm stressful. <laughs> yes, it's too multitasking people. Because they are stressful. Ah, ¿qué dijo el mister? Es fácil. Es fácil. Yes, they are always busy, stressed. They want to they, they want to do things. No se alcanza el tiempo. So, oh my god. Always are angry. 
Angry. Yes, it's true. They're always angry. <laughs> yes, true. Thank you for sharing me. Let's go now with next one. Miss Rebecca, when you work, do you enjoy fish finishing your fishing? Finishing your work early. Yes. Oh, nice. Why? Why do you like Miss this one? Tell me. Because we're sharing more time with our family. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. For sure. More time with the family, right? But remember, pero recuerden que antes el because era. I enjoy. I enjoy. Yeah. Finishing work early because we share more time with the family. Básicamente lo que hacemos con las Jaron questions es que lo que se menciona acá, miren, después del sujeto, we have to use it in the answer. Lo tenemos que utilizar en la respuesta, ¿ok? Let's go number uh, number five, Mr. Um, Juan Jose, please. When you work, do you dislike hanging out with colleagues after work? Yes or no? Do you dislike hanging out uh -huh. with colleagues after work? Hanging out is como... Pasar el tiempo o salir, o salir así como que uh, like, yeah. Salir a, 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 es que no sé cómo decirle. Salir a... ¿Ah? Unas dos que tres ahí. Ajá, ah, exactly. <laughs> that one. Exactly, that. Okay. Do you like? Do you, di, pero dice dislike. Ajá, no te gusta, ajá. No te gusta uh -huh. salir con ellos. Oh, colleagues after work. Me está preguntando si no me gusta. Ajá. Pero como a veces sí lo hago, echarme un cafecito, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, so no. Entonces, no. Ajá, so the answer would be? I don't dislike. Ajá, I don't. I don't dislike hanging out with colleagues after work. Exactly. Because, because it's good to uh, talk about something and share sometimes. About work. About work. Or... <laughs> because I that's what I do. We, we go after and we're talking about work. Okay. <laughs> like we really stay home with him work. Because, I'm sorry, because, oh, mm -hmm. because we, what, what do you do? We talk. We talk. Uh huh. What do we you say? Talk. We talk about, about some things. Something. <laughs> some things work. <laughs> work. Yes, I don't know why are we like that. No sé por qué siempre es así. Like, Sale el tema, sí, de repente. Exactly. And I was like, work after work. Oh my Como goodness. que no estamos hasta aquí, de repente ya estamos yeah, hablando de lo mismo. And continue working. I know. But yes, it's sad life with that. Anyways, very, thank you. Very good. Okay. So, like that, you have to answer these type of questions, everybody. Okay. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Gracias a todos por compartir sus ideas. Okay. Let's go and continue. We have some more activities. And the next topic that we had was the zero conditional. And again, we have here a survey. But what are we going to do right now? Uh, the rest, uh, yo sé que varios pues no pudieron continuar. Ahorita vamos a, a contestar estas, okay? But remember, try to use zero conditional. Vamos a utilizar el zero conditional. So let's go ahead and, and I'm gonna continue with Mr. Mauricio. Oh. What do you do if you have extra money, mister? What do you do? For example, if I, if I, I'm sorry, if, my goodness. If I have extra money, comma, I, I buy food. No, no, I don't buy food. I buy clothes. Yeah, if I have extra money, that's what I do. Always do. Oh, what about, okay. yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. What do you do if you have, have, a, extra have extra money? Is dinner I extra. have uh -huh. uh huh. Oh, if, if I have, have uh, I uh -huh. I have is have. Uh -huh. Si extra, tiene. Ex, 
si tiene sí, dinero sí. extra, como que Ajá. te sobra dinero. What sí. do you do? ¿Qué es lo que hace? ¿Qué es lo que hace si tiene dinero extra? You uh, go for some pupusas, you go, <laughs> you go no. from, from Starbucks, maybe, because it's very expensive. <laughs> maybe. I, uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I, I eat. Uh -huh. I, I eat pupusa uh -huh. or, or uh, uh -huh. Ahorrar, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, dice? or you save. I save. I, I save. save the money, yes. The money. Or you go to Olive Garden, maybe, or you go <laughs> to, ¿cuál es la Tlacalaca, or maybe, no yeah. me acuerdo de todos los lugares. Yeah, very good. Thank you, mister. Okay. Yes, you yeah, have to okay. save. Okay. Very good. Uh, what do you do if you have extra time? Eh, extra, if you have free time, sorry. And it would be... Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Diga. Ay, oh my goodness. What do you do if you, if you have free time? No sé qué sucede con esto. It's moving. Uh, mm -hmm. If I have free time, what do you do? If I have free time, I, mm -hmm. I read some book. Ah. Very good. Yes, I, I like to read, and mm -hmm. sometimes I practice my guitar. Oh, nice. I study Sofia, oh. and so on. Oh, very good, Mister. Thank you for sharing. Very good, very good. Okay, let's go with next one. It would be Miss Lady. Are you there, Miss? I don't know if you're still there. Oh, yes. What? What do you do if you have if you need extra money? Need it, okay? What do you do? No, I don't understand. Miss. Ah, uh, so in this one you have to say like this: If I have, if I need, sorry, if I need extra money. What do you do? ¿Qué tú haces si necesitas dinero extra? ¿Qué, qué haces? Mm. Go to the bank. Anteriormente, ah. quizá, uh, you said that uh -huh. credit card, card, algo así. El uso de tarjetas de crédito. Ah, I use a credit card. No, me, don't use them. They are bad. <laughs> Very good. I use a credit card. Or maybe you go to the bank, as Mr. Say, I go to the bank. What do you do if you wake up very late? Help me with this one, please. Miss. Oh, my goodness, ¿qué me falta? Miss. Miss Michelle? Yo atraso el reloj, teacher. <laughs> oh, mister, no, you cannot do that. <laughs> Para ir a tiempo, teacher. Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh, so, what do you do? If I wake up. Uh -huh. Very late, que necesito comprender la oración. If I wake up very late, like, oh my goodness, five minutes of work. Uh -huh. I, I use the, uh -huh. I don't know, how do you say, incapacidad. <laughs> okay, the permissions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the permissions. Okay, yeah, definitely you have to use them, right? Because... You cannot do more. You're going to be late in San Salvador. Oh my goodness, you are not going to make it. It's late, yeah. extra late. What do you do if you are on vacation? Uh, volunteer, help me. Only well. Yes, please tell me. No. Yes, Mr. Maurice, are you going to help me? If it's a, como dice, are on vacation. Uh -huh. if, if you are on vacations, what do you do? Uh, mm -hmm. I go, mm -hmm. 
I go to visit my family. Ah, you go to visit your fam. My family would be very good, Mister. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. So very, very good with that. Okay. So that was a little bit of practice for the zero conditional. And now questions. Do we have any questions so far? I think that's the last one. Yeah. Questions, doubts, comments? No questions or no comments. Okay, and just to finish, I have one more to practice the time clause, okay? So I have this worksheet that we are going to do it together, okay? So you have to tell me what's the correct answer. Everybody choose the correct option. They want to throw a party, getting hacer una fiesta. After, before, or when the Super Bowl is on TV, what would be the correct answer? When is como cuando, right? So, or like similar to as soon as, I guess. After. Okay. What about number two? We go to the party, we put on our costumes. After. Okay. We arrived to the festival, we met our friends there. Everybody, please help me. When? Okay. When? Number four, I always buy gifts for my family. When? Number five, they launch fireworks. The police issue a fine. It was forbidden. Lanzaron juegos artificiales. La policía les puso una multa porque estaba prohibido. So? When? <laughs> after. After. Mm. Okay. After. Okay. Okay, let's go after and when, let's see. Number six, we went home receiving the prizes. When? When. Seven, there was a competition in the festival. The big celebration party. After. Number eight, I always have a great time. I meet friend. I meet with friends. When they finish their performs, they took pictures with their fans. ¿Qué performs, teacher? Eh, como el. Oh my goodness, performs. It would be like cuando se están. I know. Let me, Realizando let me. hacer. No, 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 no. Performs. Terminaron la actuación. Actuación o puede ser que de algún concierto o uh -huh. que sería como la tocada, vea, o like they are playing. O cuando están en una obra sería la actuación, ¿verdad? El toquín le dimos nosotros, tío. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that one. So after. after okay. No, after. And when we, we went straight to bed. When, before, or after getting home from the festival? Hmm? After. After. Okay, let's, sh <laughs> let's check the answers. Uh, oh, oh, we have some. Oh, oh my goodness, five because... out of ten. <laughs> Remember that it is Remember that this depends on the actions of the sentences, okay? Porque todas pueden ser posibles, okay? So don't worry because it depends on the situations that we are doing, okay? So don't worry, <laughs> okay? Thank you for doing it, okay? And thank you everybody for being such good students, okay? Gracias a todos por ser tan buenos alumnos and for coming to the classes, okay? Thank you, I really appreciate that. De verdad, precioso eso que vinieron a todas las clases. And I hope to see you maybe next year, okay? And so you can continue, you are in a good path, okay? Espero que todos continúen el otro módulo, verdad, el próximo año y que practiquen, verdad, en la plataforma, because remember, it's super important, okay? And thank you, and I don't know if you have any comments, opinions, doubts so far.
Y eso solo darle las gracias, teacher. Gracias. Tiene una técnica bien especial para enseñarnos y, y, y esperamos pues encontrarla en, las, en los siguientes módulos. I hope so. I don't know. Maybe. Estoy de acuerdo Yo segundo con lo que Juan dijo José. Juanjo. Es cierto. I'm sorry. <risa> que yo segundo lo que dijo Juanjo, le digo. Oh, es muy cierto. You. Me gusta esa pedagogía que tiene para, para enseñar. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you. you like it. Nice. Este, uh -huh. Teacher, so una, teacher, oh, no una uh -huh. teacher wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Thank, you. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate yeah. those words. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just here to help you. Uh, solo pues obviamente pues estoy para ayudarles y Qué bueno que les haya gustado, uh, because that's my, my idea, right? I always like that other people like English, okay? Siempre trato de que, pues, eso, ¿verdad? que les guste el idioma, porque a veces es como que, ay, no, English. So I try to change their minds, okay? So I hope I have changed it. Creo que les he cambiado un poquito más. And I hope you continue. That's my, my idea, basically. And thank you for being here. Continue, okay? Always, if you can practice, siempre si pueden practiquen, ok, remember okay. series, movies and everything, ok para que no se nos vaya a olvidar mientras pasa este okay. mes, ok so okay. thank you uh, thank you for being here and I'll see you and make me next year ok, bye bye everybody, take care ok, bye bye, bye. bye. feliz año a todos feliz navidad también y próspero yes, Merry Christmas ok, bye, good night bye Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bye. No coman mucho pollo. Mucho turkey.